Welcome back to Good Day. It's 743. I'm here with Pastor Garrett Andrew. He is from First Presbyterian Church of Albany. And you guys have a very, very, very important person that's coming this weekend to speak. It's all part of their missions week. And um, let's talk about this person and, and who he is. The Reverend Dr. Joseph L. Roberts, an incredible preacher, one of the best 50 preachers, or one of the best preachers of the last 50 years, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And to take over again at Ebenezer Baptist Church, where, where King Jr. and King Sr. were both the ministers, where Otis Moss Jr. was one of the ministers. I mean, we're talking about like the uh, upper echelon. Of, uh, of preachers that has ever existed mm -hmm. who go there. While he was there, he had Ebenezer Baptist focus on the downtown of Atlanta. They grew by 2,000 members in the 30 years that he was there, and the outreach ministries that they begun while, began while he was there were absolutely amazing. Uh, and Ebony Magazine has named him one of the greatest living black preachers, and he's, uh, did that again, he's coming to Albany mm -hmm. is, is something of historic importance. And, uh, and I, I'm just so thrilled. I, I hope that other people in our community recognize how important this is for not just my church. And for my church, I'm, to be quite frank, I'm super thrilled. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but for the community, I'm even more thrilled because of just what it means. It means that indeed some of our, our racial walls are breaking down. And uh, it's, it's something that I don't think people want to miss, not only because uh, it's going to be fantastic and he's an incredible preacher, mm -hmm. but also because uh, Joseph Roberts made his way back to Albany mm -hmm. and is, is taking the time to give us a word from the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm beside myself yeah. excited. So I can tell you're so excited. Well, I'll uh, do a little dance, but that's weird. Well, he just did a little dance right there for did you. Did you sing <laughs> earlier? In the I sang earlier. You danced. It's okay. There we go. We're having fun this morning. I well, enjoy it. <laughs> good. Well, in case people are just joining us, expand a little bit on why this is such a big deal that he's coming back to Albany. And, um, As yeah. a, and, and uh, wonderful. Uh, so he was here when Martin Luther King Jr. came into town. And, uh, and, and his, his Jr. was going through, King was going through everywhere and, and trying to get the civil rights movement working. And uh, when he saw me and I met him for the first time, I was wearing that name tag where I was from. And, and he, was, uh, he was putting on the conference, a wonderful man, incredibly personal. And he saw my name tag and he said, oh, hi, Garrett. And then he looked down and he saw Albany and I saw his face change. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he just, he, he looked at me and he said, we had a hard time in Albany. And, uh, and I told him when I saw him, and I don't think he remembers me from anybody, mm -hmm. by the way, uh, but I, I told him, I was like, well, it's getting better, and I'd really like to have you come back sometime. And, uh, and, and so when we got to the place then where uh, we were trying to look for someone to close our missions week, uh, they, uh, we were asking people, and they were like, well, we can't do it. And I was like, well, let's ask Joseph Roberts. And they were like, do we even have a chance? I mean, probably not, but we have to ask. And, and he said yes. And, um, and so that he's coming back to a place where he recognized while he was here during mm -hmm. the Civil Rights Movement, it was hard for him. And to, uh, and to a white church at that. Now, we're not exclusively white, but still, you know, historically white in, a, in, a, in the historic downtown. I, it's just, it's, it's demonstrating that God is breaking down these barriers. And to have a preacher of his magnitude and historical significance mm -hmm. come into this place, I, again, uh, if you pass it up, Shame on you. You got to come. Anyway. <laughs> well, now, so this is March 25th. What time? 11 a.m. And it'll be our 11 a.m. service, and we have a lunch afterward. Um, and if we run out of lunches, I, I believe that Jesus can still break bread and make more. So <laughs> there you go. we'll figure it okay. out. Okay. So this has all been part of your missions week. And what has been the main purpose of this whole week that has been filled with um, reaching out to the community. Well, the, 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 there's a uh, main purpose. Is, uh, I think there's two purposes. One, to create awareness, and, and two, to raise funds. And so we want to raise funds for these organizations that we're supporting in our community, and we're also uh, supporting some international missionaries as well. Uh, but the ones in our community, again, are, are Graceway and the Anchorage, uh, Samaritan's Clinic, and Mission Change, those four. And, and the ways that they work with uh, people who otherwise would not have any support or help. So to raise funds for those organizations and to uh, raise awareness of what these organizations do. We, we, we take advantage of these organizations without realizing that uh, 
they're incredibly fragile and how one moment they can be gone simply because the funds do not exist. We're still in hard economic times, but if we recognize the amount that Christ has done for us, and then we're like, we must do for others, the least of these, that Matthew 25 thing where Jesus says, whatever you've done for the least of these, you've done for me. We are in a community saturated with the least of these, saturated for people who are trying to, uh, who, who need our help. And those of us who can help must help. And so the, the primary purpose is to recognize that we have these people that we need to help, that we can help. But at the same point in time, then, to, to celebrate our... Um, you know, God in the midst of the whole thing. And so, again, I'm really excited about Roberts in particular mm -hmm. because I, I'm a decent preacher, but he's a fabulous preacher. Yeah. Well, this sounds just so very exciting, and um, it's wonderful that you were able to actually get him to come back to Albany and to um, speak at your church. So if you guys are interested, you can check them out on Facebook. They also have a website. Would you like to share that? FirstPresAlbany.org, and the first is with a 1ST. 1ST, okay. And uh, so you guys go over there and check that out to find out more information. Again, it's uh, March 25th that uh, Dr. Joseph Roberts will be speaking at the 11 a.m. service. Well, and um, we appreciate you everyone so much, Pastor 7, Andrews, for being I'm here, here with Pastor well, Garrett Andrews. He's no from problem. First well, Presbyterian of, of Albany. And um, you guys are having a very uh, special person coming to your church to talk um, in just a little while. On Sunday. On Sunday, March uh, 25th. I exactly. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. It's 220 North Jackson Street. I just looked at the camera. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yes, Joseph Roberts is, uh, he took over for Martin Luther King Sr. at Ebenezer Baptist in Atlanta, uh, which is where Martin Luther King Jr. preached until his assassination. Okay. And uh, when King came to Albany, it was the only city he went to he said he would never come back to. Mm -hmm. And Joseph Roberts was with King when he was in Albany. And I went to a conference about a year ago where Roberts saw my name tag and he looked at it and he said, oh, we had a hard time in Albany. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's getting better. And, and we're doing this missions conference. And the best thing about the missions conference is most of what First Presbyterian Church does is focused on Albany, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Now, we're well aware of what Albany's like. It's in the top 10 worst places for poverty, illiteracy, teenage pregnancy, infant mortality, sexually transmitted diseases. And, uh, and, and so to focus on this area allows it to, uh, allows it to become better. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to focus our attentions because of what Jesus has done for us in this place where we are and hopefully it'll raise up. And what, what uh, Roberts brings to it is also a reconciliation. Mm -hmm. So the only city that King said he would never come back to, now the man who was at his pulpit for 30 years is coming to our church and it offers, in my opinion, our community a huge opportunity mm -hmm. to focus on racial reconciliation as well as all the different ways First Presbyterian Church and other churches in our community and other organizations in our community are trying to focus on our community to lift it up in a fantastic way. There you go. Well, let's uh, focus a little bit on what you kept saying there about um, what Robert said was that he would, or um, Dr. Martin Luther King would never come back to Albany. Can you tell us why? What was going on during that time and what happened when he was here? Uh, Albany was, uh, uh, I mean, during the whole civil rights time, especially in the 60s right there, and, uh, and, and it was harder here, I'm told. Again, um, how old am I? 31. <laughs> um, uh, just because uh, apparently when King got here, he, he went to Bethel AME is what I hear. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in, in the pastor there invited all the other pastors in town and, and had them in the upper room and said, I have a man who wants to meet you if you want to meet him. And they, and they were like, okay, okay. And it apparently it was Martin Luther King Jr. And some of the pastors went down there and even some of, the, like some of the white pastors who went down there and met with him were run off of their churches. Mm -hmm. uh, for taking the time to meet him. And it was a hard time. It was a different time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, and, and some of the, just the ways that he was, he was taken in town and t uh, brought out of town. And uh, I, so I don't know the particulars, but I do know that when I went to the, uh, this particular conference, it was full of civil rights leaders. Ot Otis Moss Jr. was there, and he's the man who took over for King upon his assassination. And, uh, and Roberts as well, so the two senior pastors of the church uh, who King was there, and they, and, and all these other leaders, and every time they saw my name tag, their whole face changed. How so there's something about the history of Albany that, that almost pained them, and to have then one of them coming back mm -hmm. still, and into a church that's predominantly white, a historic downtown church, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I think speaks volumes to what God is doing here mm -hmm. and how racial walls are still trying to be broken down. There you go. 
And so this is all part of the missions week that you were doing at your church. And so talk a little about that and what your hopes are um, for the missions week. Excellent. No, the Missions Week's fantastic. The reason the Missions Week is fantastic is because it provides us just one week where we focus on, on mission. Now, we, we focus, of course, on mission all the time. But to recognize, because of what God has done for us in Jesus Christ, we have to do for others, to lift up others as we ourselves have been lifted up. And when I got here down, the, the First Presbyterian Church was, was near death. Um, and, uh, and we've gotten steadily bigger and steadily better, and we've decided we want to give back to our community. So we're a downtown church and a, a downtown that many consider to be dying, mm -hmm. and we decided that we were going to stay in Albany, uh, downtown Albany, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And so we want to focus on Albany because that's where most of, uh, we want to devote most of our resources there. So we, uh, we're focusing on four missions that uh, happen in Albany. Uh, the Samaritan's Clinic, which if you're unaware about the Samaritan's Clinic, that's where most of the people who can't afford prescriptions or doctors or anything like that, they go to the Samaritan's Clinic. It's uh, put on by Mount Zion Church, but mm -hmm. we're going to support them in whichever way we can. Uh, the Anchorage, which does uh, uh, drug rehabilitation and alcohol rehabilitation for men. Graceway, which does basically the same thing for women. Mm -hmm. And Mission Change, which is, of course, a local organization here that uh, makes awareness happen and provides all sorts of other things. And so those are the four organizations that we're focusing on. So what we're asking for is our members and anyone else who wants to, by the way, <laughs> uh, to, uh, to donate uh, funds, to pledge uh, to the Missions Week, and then we're going to distribute all 100% of those funds to those organizations and uh, in hopes that those funds will, in fact, change lives. Mm -hmm. Because every one of those organizations, in, yeah, I mean, again, we have a God who says, behold, I make all things new. Mm -hmm. Uh, for people who are addicted to drugs and alcohol, to have a place where they know they can go and, and beat those addictions and be made new is incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, for people who know how bad this community is, to have mission change where they can go and volunteer their time on a monthly basis and have awareness, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, for people who have nowhere to go and to go to the Samaritan's Clinic and know they can obtain some kind of... Uh, the drugs they need to get better right. and at the same point in time to have dr roberts come at the end of the whole thing and offer something else yeah, this is a powerful week it's only our second one and if this is our second one i can't wait to see what the third one's going to be like well this will be march 25th so it's um dr robert uh, dr joseph roberts will be there this sunday this sunday and so um, if you guys have a website mm -hmm. and it is First, and that's 1st, Prez, P R E S, Albany, uh, dot org. And uh, we have a uh, Facebook page, First Prez Albany slash Facebook.com. There you go. Okay, so go, go over there to find out more information. And we appreciate you again. Um, it's uh, Pastor Garrett Andrews from First Presbyterian of Albany. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for being here. We'll be back with more good days. Stay with us.